So uh, this is another microprocessor we thought about that uh, benefits babies. Um, parents like to uh, do things with their babies that uh, improve the baby's uh, development. And it's been shown with even non-human animals that an enriched environment uh, full of activities causes them to be clever when they're fully grown, uh, as well as have uh, um, various beneficial effects on uh, emotional quality. So uh, physical enrichment activities make sense. Uh, so if a baby now somehow has just automatically enough food all the time whenever she likes, what are some of the things that uh, parents can do that create emotional interaction with their kids? Well, uh, one approach is a uh, computer-controlled thing, which is kind of like Baby Simon. Um, and uh, Simon was a uh, game from the 20th century that was electronic where uh, like a color and a shape would uh, light up and then you would uh, touch the color and then the shape after it lit up and things like that. It was basically a uh, uh, display and then follow electronic amusement. So uh, a version of this that would uh, bring benefit to babies would be uh, something like uh, two or three colors of laser pointers and uh, as well as uh, the ability to tell where the laser pointers were pointed. And the laser pointers would make uh, little colorful shapes on the baby. And then the baby would reach out and touch the shapes. And then when the baby had actually managed to reach out and touch one of the shapes, there would be like a musical tone uh, that would be a happy musical tone. And uh, maybe the uh, colored shape would be something particularly pleasant from the baby's perspective. And then that way the baby would learn to be able to touch all of the parts of its body and hear all of the words that named all of the parts of the baby's body. And uh, also what the baby could do is that as it was moving its hands and arms towards the different par body parts, um, if the baby was moving them at a certain rate, maybe they could be lit up with a particular color uh, to give the baby the ability to make smooth and graceful motions as well. So it would be multiple kinds of uh, knowledge and coordination at the same time. And basically it would be done using these laser pointers making uh, pretty shapes on the baby that the baby reached out and touched everywhere on their body. Uh, now, one reason to base this with a new IC rather than just a microprocessor is actually something that the Gates Foundation is supporting, which is a uh, computer that can spot mosquitoes with a uh, optical sensor and then zap them with a laser. But it does this in the presence of human beings, which means that this laser is so good at its job that it makes sure that the lasers always uh, aim their output at places that are physiologically uh, absence of consequence to the people. Because you'd want uh, all of the lasers that were uh, illuminating the baby to make sure that they were always just on places that were beneficial to the baby. Or that if the baby did something really wild and looked right at the laser, that the laser would be able to figure that out uh, before there was any difficulty to the baby. So um, that's a reason to have a uh, uh, an IC that does just this thing. Another reason to have an IC that does just this thing is uh, when you look at uh, what during the 20th century were called laserium uh, events. Uh, these were beautiful vector gra graphics that were drawn with lasers that people liked to look at just because they were beautiful. Um, and they were usually accompanied with music. Um, those were accompanied or created with uh, vibrating mirrors that generated waveforms. Usually there would be a horizontal as well as vertical uh, vibrating mirror. And the vibrating mirrors would um, steer the uh, lasers to make the shapes. With a three-dimensional version, of course, then you'd also add a, uh, a Z mirror to the thing as well. Um, there's already an IC that uh, synchronizes uh, tens of thousands of micro mirrors to uh, 
create uh, custom projected displays. Thus, and I see that uh, moves just a few mirrors to control brightly colored lasers, as well as has the kind of optical sensing and uh, real-time operation to make sure that the lasers were always at just the right place on a human being's body, could be a new kind of uh, custom IC uh, rather than just a microprocessor application. You could do it with a microprocessor, but it could be cheaper at certain quantities with a dedicated IC.